Hey guys, I'm just gonna do a little um, tutorial about how I do my makeup every day. I have my hair pulled back. I did go to sleep with it wet last night, so um, it looks real disgusting. So I may do a hair tutorial later. But at first I'm gonna start off with a couple of things that I like to use. I do this Sheer Defense Merle Norman Tinted Moisturizer and a little dollop of my Oil of Olay, whoops, seven in one. So what I do is I mix these together, just a little bitty dollop of each. You can see here. And then I gently rub this on my face. It really feels like my face was so thirsty. And rubbing this in really, really helps. Um, you know, kind of start the day. Since I really don't wear foundation at all, I use the tinted moisturizer more of a foundation. And look how red my face is, but don't worry. I'm gonna use a little bit of powder to show you. Another thing that I have used recently, I got this in a free Merle Norman kit. It's a 24 karat gold firming foundation primer. And she said I should use this. I mean, it has 24 karat gold in it. I really like putting it on. She told me to do it after my moisturizer. I said, sure, okay. So fabulous. I just rub that on and it just really feels so great and just kind of sets that moisturizer in really um, firms up my face. You can't tell as it's so puffy, um, but it really does help. The next thing I like to tackle are my um, dark circles under my eyes. A friend, Catherine, gave me this. You can see I've used a lot of it. It's Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I put that on about every other day, um, just as a little barrier against this under eye look, which has just gotten out of hand in recent years. And then I'm still using All About Eyes Concealer, and this is Clinique. I've had this for years. Um, I use a tiny amount every day and I mean, I probably shouldn't have that, have it still, but I do. Um, whoops. That is about how much I use. I mean, really not a lot at all. I just kind of let it sit for a moment. Let it kind of like, you know, harden up a little bit. Not harden up, but just kind of dry and boom, I already look already look younger. <laughs> Not. Um, so the next step that I like to do is I use this loose powder. Also by Merle Norman. One thing that I will tell you is Merle Norman gave a gift certificate to an auction I went to a few years ago and I thought, you know, I'm just going to buy that because it's a great deal and I knew they had these really good candles. Well, they tried some makeup on me, and I was like, okay, I'm hooked. All right, sure, I'll get some stuff. So the gift certificate was for $100, and um, I was only going to get one candle. Well, since then, I have used, I've basically switched my, almost all my makeup over to them. Um, as far as, like, face, um, blush, a little bit of eye stuff, and... Boom. So I just did this loose powder all over my face. And now I'm going to use this bronzer. It's Rimmel. It's so easy. I just get like a $3 compact. I just swipe it all over my face. It's from Walmart or Walgreens, any drugstore. Um, and I love this Merle Norman. Don't know the color. It's washed off. This is the blush. Can you ever have too much blush? You really can't. I mean, it just really brightens your face, makes it look great. I am doing my face in my phone. Probably should look in an actual mirror, but you know, just trying to get there, y'all. <clears throat> the next thing I have that has really, really helped, I feel, with keeping my eye eyeshadow on, a new primer from Merle Norman. I mean, am I a spokesperson for them or what? It's their eyeshadow primer. I've always used um, Urban Decay primer potion. Um, I ran out and, you know, 
busy mom, just don't have time to go to five different places. So the last time I was at Merle Norman, I was like, can y'all give me some primer? And they were like, sure, yeah. And they're so happy to help, so sweet. And I like to support businesses like that, you know, and they did give us an auction item for our Fairfield auction. And I just thought, you know, I'm gonna pay it forward. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, so today is just like a fun day. Um, you know, at home doing nothing on my quarantine cation, and I'm gonna go with Buxom for my eyeshadow. These eyeshadows are, I don't know how to describe the vibrancy of these. Um, <laughs> two of mine have fallen out or broken or whatever, but I'm gonna go with this purple right now, and this just goes on honestly like butter and it totally stays all day and it's so vibrant. Um, you can't really see it in this wonderful video I'm doing with the quality of my cell phone um, attached to this really cool apparatus of my husband's. But I really like the way it looks. It stays on all day and you really get a, um, you really get a good look. You do. So, I'm not going to um I'm not going to do any like special highlighting or anything um honestly because I'm staying home all day, but I'm am going to add I don't know if you've ever seen those really awesome commercials called Thrive or like ads or whatever, but I bought this highlighter and it really I add it right here to my under my eyebrow. I just feel like it brightens up my face. Sometimes I do it down my nose, in these little areas. I've seen some uh, other YouTubers show me what to do that. The next thing I have is this purple gem, also Merle Norman. And I was like, I don't want, I do not want a pencil that I have to sharpen because it's such a pain. But the first time I tried it, it was like butter. I mean, what else can I call it? when we relate to makeup. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, at the base of my lid, and then I'm gonna pull this, I know I probably shouldn't, and put this on my waterline. I really like the look that it gives on the waterline. Okay, and let's get a little more. And I know what you're saying, purple gem, but I have brown eyes, and Black just is not the color that I can use. So, um, I use this purple and I have another shade that's called Earth. Um, that's a little like purpley brown. So, it's a great color too and it's very neutral and great for brown eyes. The Piece de Resistance. I'm going to show you my last and final piece of this look. I swear that I have never had a better mascara. I, I mean, Roller Lash is, honestly, I've tried everything. Even Merle Norman doesn't compare. So, <clears throat> I'm going to work this mascara. And I start with the bottom lashes. As you can see. And I go over to the next side. And I feel like I need to let them dry a little bit before I go to the top. Just so that I... You know, don't get it everywhere. The next thing I'll do in between is what I like to do while those are drying is I do a little brow combing, if you will. So I'll comb this brow. Don't know if it actually does anything, but I'll do it anyway. Because, I mean, I have all this, this stuff. And then the lash, I start from the base. Look at that. I mean, my lashes are really, really, really short, brittle, not the best. And this just works. I'm going to go finish up the rest of my face and I'll get some hair done and I'll see you back here later. I can't wait to see your videos, guys.